experiencing neck pain or constantly rubbing your neck, moving it around while you're at work or school. Oftentimes, general neck pain, soreness, stiffness, things like that, are all posture related. So if you constantly find yourself in this position with your shoulders forward and your head forward and you're having to lean up to look and move around, that is not a good position to be in. Your neck doesn't like it, your back doesn't like it, and your shoulders don't like it. So let's do something about it. Poor posture can lead to many different problems, not only headaches, not only neck pain, but it can also decrease vision, it can make your concentration less, and it can decrease your productivity. So let's figure out some ways to help you get in a better posture, sit upright, and stop having those headaches, stop having that neck pain, and get moving. So the big issue is what we in the physical therapy business call upper cross syndrome. So when the front of your body kind of collapses forward, your head comes forward, and now when my head's forward, I have to tilt it in order to see you. And by doing that, all the muscles in the back of my head start to tighten up. When that happens, I get tension headaches, or I get neck pain, or I feel like I constantly have to stretch and move in order to get some relief. Well, your mom was right. Sitting up straight is the answer. So, whether you're at home, whether you're at work, in school, whatever it is, we need to find ways for you to be able to sit up taller, to hold those positions for longer, and to not let yourself get into this really slumped position anymore. Physical therapy is a great answer for this. When you come see me, a lot of the things I do are manual work, which you definitely need to make sure someone that's doing that on you knows what they're doing. There's a lot of issues in the neck, um, anything from carotid arteries to your spinal cord, to the brachial plexus, which is basically a bunch of nerves that feed the whole arm. So you definitely want to make sure someone that's working on your neck knows what they're doing. The other part of physical therapy that will help you with holding your posture better is exercise, endurance exercise. So a lot of times when we think of exercising or making muscles stronger, it isn't just to look better on the beach, but it's to help stabilize our spine. It's our head is heavy, so we need to be able to hold that head up all throughout our day. All right, so when we strengthen the muscles in the neck, when we make sure that we're in a good posture, all those vertebrae are in alignment and we're able to hold that head for a lot longer throughout the day. So a couple helpful tips throughout your day. Set yourself an alarm for every 20, 30 minutes or so to remind you to sit up nice and tall, Maybe do a couple neck stretches, rotate it a little bit, just get it moving. It also gives your eyes a little bit of time away from the computer or from your phone, because we all know that we start to get in this mode, especially after watching something for too long. Another helpful hint, if you have a foam roller at home, great. If you don't, I'll show you the next step. So with the foam roller, you're just going to lay back on it. Make sure that we get the edge of the foam roller right at the edge of the head. Arms out and then just rotate the head side to side. You might feel a little pull, you might feel a little tension, but overall that should help decrease your neck pain and headache. If you don't have a foam roller, get yourself a tennis ball. Same thing, put that tennis ball right at the back of the head. Laying back, rotating and put it on both sides of the head.